Now, this week we're looking at how the railway maps of the past could shape a future inland rail line into the region. Rail planners are considering a new route to supplement the Dawlish line. One of three options is the old route north of Dartmoor. Trains to London would head up to Beer Alston on the existing line. There are already plans to reconnect from there to Tavistock. Then there'd have to be more track relayed to Oakhampton to pick up the freight line towards Exeter. Our business correspondent Neil Gallagher starts his report in Tavistock. Let's assume, as railway planners do, that Tavistock will, within a decade or so, have a railway line coming up from Beer Alston. What next? Let's start near the probable site of Tavistock's new station at Monksmead. The line used to go beyond here up towards Oakhampton, and the Monksmead estate here wasn't built over the line. You can still see the railway embankment there, heading up towards Oakhampton. Much of the old double-track bed has been preserved for walkers. Many locals I met seem to like the idea of at least one track being relayed here. I want it to happen. For the economy of the area, it's going to be good. Well, it's a very wide, clearly double-track viaduct. Looks nice and strong, but at least one obvious problem. As well as the 18 or so properties that would clearly need to go, there's a serious impact on homes that wouldn't need to be knocked down the homes that are close enough to be blighted merely by talk of rail. They're worried about how will they be compensated, or will they get any compensation at all? You know, and then um, they don't know, is there going to be a train at 7 o'clock in the morning, a train at 9 o'clock at night? All those things will cause anxiety with people. The route takes us northeast past Brentor, another community undisturbed by trains since 1968. Farther along, this footage from the early 60s shows a steam train crossing Meldon Viaduct on its way towards Oakhampton. This viaduct might need rebuilding to take modern passenger trains. This line used to take travellers all the way into Waterloo. West Devon Council want to see it reopen and say it would benefit a wide area north and west of the moor. If you look on a map, at the moment there's a big blank area where there's no railway line um, and it would bring a whole new client group to be able to use the railways far easier than they can at the moment. Today's line at Oakhampton can take just freight traffic and weekend excursions. Half the width is for cyclists. Trains from here eventually join the line down from Barnstable and head to Exeter via Crediton. Even Inverness has got two lines, one from Aberdeen, one from Perth. So why shouldn't we have two lines to Plymouth? And in the long term, I'd like to go further and see it go on to Bodmin down the A30. But commentators in Plymouth fear this northern route might one day become the only route. There's little agreement. Andy Roden, a well-known rail journalist, says, with the region losing £20 million a day, reinstating Oakhampton to Tavistock as a single-track railway would pay for itself within five working days. On the other hand, Tudor Evans of Plymouth City Council says, we're not saying an alternative route via Oakhampton is not a lovely thing to have, but that would add half an hour to journey times. We need something fit for purpose. It's relatively straightforward to reopen be because very few structures have been built on the line. It's largely still open terrain. And while you would need some works, it's probably, of all the reopening options, it's the quickest to be achieved. So, there's a powerful Plymouth and South Devon lobby which is really wary about this particular idea, but some senior railway figures really seem to rate it. Neil Gallagher, BBC Spotlight, on what could one day be the Tavistock-Oakhampton-Exeter railway line. I bet some of the pictures in that report brought back memories for many people. And the journey continues tomorrow when Neil looks at the route from Newton Abbott up the Teen Valley to Exeter. Now, on to sport. And the